So I want to talk to you about the Sony Vlogger Shotgun Microphone, the ECM G1. This microphone is amazing. The clarity that comes out of it is amazing in the outdoors. I have been using this microphone now strictly on all my vlogging and all of my outdoor birding and outdoor wildlife photography and some additional vlogging that I've been doing. It's excellent for recording human voices like I am right now. I have two of these. I have one right now on my ZV-E1 and I have a second one here in my hand that I use on my Sony A7R5. They're a large diameter 14.6 millimeter mic capsule that captures clear sound. The windscreen for trouble-free outdoor shooting is amazing. The anti-vibration mount reduces minor bumps and mechanical noise. That's great. When I'm vlogging and I'm walking and doing different things in the outdoors, look at that. That little guy in there, that little spring takes all those noises away that I don't want to have happen so I don't have a bunch of clunking like that going on. That, that's pretty neat. And for the size of it, you don't hear any of that noise because I wondered when I first got it, was it going to be enough to have that ability inside for the anti-vibration to work? And it works amazing, hands down. So the Super Cardoid pickup uh, for the front focused audio capture is really, really good. And I've even noticed that the backside here, it's just as clear when I use it. There's no difference that I can tell. It's compact, it's lightweight, it's ideal for anywhere, even on gimbals. I've used it on gimbals on the Sony ZV-E1 and the ZV-E10 and have had no problems whatsoever of it creating any type of off-center or off-balancing. It's cable-free, it's battery-free, um, it's a multi-face interface shoe. So when you have it hooked onto your Sony camera and you turn it on and off or record on and off, it turns on and off with your camera's recording. So there's never this, you know, like I've had where I recorded something and I got some great audio or somebody's great something that they're talking about and then later I go back and I forgot to turn on, yeah, the microphone. This does it for me. It turns on and off and I don't have to worry about that no more and that's what's great about it. The last piece is it's a it also has a 3.5 millimeter right there if I can show you that an audio out jack for expanding connectivity so I've actually used this on the ZVE1 and then connected here on the mic out to do other things with which is pretty cool and a lot of microphones don't have that so bottom line if you're looking for something great for vlogging just to take it a little bit farther ahead this would definitely be it and all this audio that you hear and and for that matter everything that you've seen on set to autofocus that i have created any video for go to those watch them use those for resources for you to hear different sounds that come from this i don't do anything with my audio it's straight out of the camera and i post it i don't do any type of audio editing or anything like that so if you want to see other examples of what this sound is like, go straight to my Set to Autofocus YouTube channel, watch some of my videos, anything in the last three months. And when I say three months, I'm talking since um, March 1st of 2023. That way, if you're watching this down the road in a couple of years or down whatever that is in the future, you'll know when to look for. Because this is literally what I'm going to use no matter what from this point forward. I love the ECM G1 by Sony that much that I've owned two and I'm probably going to buy two or three more just to have as backups. For the cost of them, they're about 125 to 150 bucks. I've seen them on Amazon. Um, I got this one on the ZV1 that you can't see right now. My second one, I got that on Amazon for sale for $97. They had some type of a secondhand return and it works great. So if you see that on Amazon, Give it a shot. I didn't know that was a thing till I bought that one that Amazon now has secondhand stuff. So anyhow, enough of that. So if you haven't had a chance, um, please, I would greatly appreciate a like. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you're using for any type of vlogging. If you have this ECM G1 or if you found something better, please let me know down below. I need to know. But for right now, I'm, I'm just sticking with this. I love it. I, I haven't found anything else that straight out of the box or when I'm shooting, it's just like boop and it's done and the audio is good enough for what I need. And I mean, I'm not shooting cinematography, but for everyday stuff, this is it. This is pretty good. Yeah, real good. So by the way, um, I thank you for, you know, watching all my videos and 
hearing what I have to say. And again, if you think that this was a good video and what I share is good stuff, those likes, please. I know it's sometimes you hear that too many times from other people as well on YouTube, but if we don't receive the likes and for you other YouTubers watching, you know this, but there's no way to know that what you're creating is good content. And the other piece is it doesn't let YouTube know that what you're creating and what I'm posting and what you're watching right now is useful for them to put in the algorithm and help out. So I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, the subscribe, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.